friends, today's tutorial is going to be fun and fast, and I've already printed it just so that you can see that it works. Friends, let me show you how to make an awesome little scoop in minutes. Of course, right now I am in Tinkercad Note. It is a website, so you do not have to install it. When you first load, your designs will be blank, but after a while, you'll be amazed how many you've created. This is where you create a new 3D design. I have already created this, so I'm simply going to click Tinker This. All of your designs are saved to the cloud, so you can instantly get back to them. Friends, I have got a cat feeder that sometimes gets too full. I don't really like reaching into the bowl to get out the cat food, so I made this scoop. Let me show you how. Control D is duplicate. Now I can quickly hit ungroup to break it apart. So you can see how Tinkercad works. This handle is really cylinder, cylinder with a rectangle in the middle. If I want to make it longer, check it out. I can grab this black handle stretch it out to the new length that I want. Let's say I want 40. I'm going to click and type the exact number I want. And then to align things, you select them. Notice this is two shapes. I'm going to click align. I want this red one to be the boss. That means the dots match it. I want that to go right there. And then I'm going to have to use the arrow keys to nudge this out to the perfect spot. But you can see right there is the halfway spot. So that comes together. So let me show you how we did the scoop. It is simply the half sphere. When you bring it out, if you grab a handle, it does two directions at once, which breaks it. I'm going to do control Z, which is undo. And this time I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to stretch it to what I call crazyville. And then I'm going to type the number I want, which is 40. So this is going to be the scoop. But if we look below it, it's not hollow. Watch this. Control D. I'm going to take the second one and see how this measurement is 40. I'm going to make it a hole and I'm going to shift shrink and I'm going to take away four. So if I do 36 and press enter, now that'll be four less or it'll have two millimeters less gap. If we select those two shapes, notice it says two shapes, choose a line. I'm going to make the pink one the boss. I'm going to choose center and center. Now, if I do T for transparent, you can see that hole underneath. I'm going to make it back to a solid. I'll let you see them right here together. And if we do control G, making sure I've only got the two of them selected. Bingo. We have just cut out our awesome shape. Notice this one's going to be a lot thinner. This is the real one I printed where I did a one millimeter. Two millimeter just makes it a little more solid. This is where you can have fun creating your own design. Another feature here, see how the orange goes inside? Because I'm grouping this all at once. Control G, you can see we have got an awesome scoop in minutes. Here's another bonus trick for you. If we ungroup that, we can make this handle a lot stronger by simply bringing out the wedge. I'm going to use mirror so it flips the way I want. I'm going to just change the measurements by squeezing those black handles. And if I move this up into place, of course, I do want to align it. So I'm going to grab all those and do L for align. And once again, even though that's dangling inside, that hole is going to cut it clean. So if we select it all and do control G to group, bingo, our scoop has more strength, but it also cut out cleanly. Once again, T for transparent. So you can see how that all comes together. Now I've already printed mine, so I know that I don't have to have that strength. I'm going to quickly ungroup it, delete that, and put those back in a group. Once again, Control G is the shortcut. I'm going to shut off that transparency and let me show you how to send this for 3D printing. Simply hit export and choose STL, or you could choose OBJ. And then I'm going to do this as Cat Food 2 because it has the longer handle and save it. If you want to share your design with the world, the first thing I always do is get the background to a cooler color. I'm going to go with a blue. I always like to switch to custom, find the exact color I wanted. And I think that's going to be pretty sweet. And then I also shut off the grid just so it looks cooler on the background. And then we simply click back to the Tinkercad dashboard. That saves your project. And right now your project is private. To show the world, we simply hit properties. Of course, you can adjust your name. Mine is going to say scoop. I'm going to have a tutorial coming soon. This is in the description. Of course, I show you how to find the new shares. 
And then finally, I give you ways to reach out to me. Of course, add tags. And friends, I want to remind you, if you ever add the tag HLMT23 to anything you create, I check that tag almost every day. And of course, I will give you a reaction. Finally, make sure you set the design to public. Prove you're not a robot. And then I always choose attribution no derivatives because instead of copying my work, I want you to come up here, follow that tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Lastly, it saved changes. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to mention my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you look down in the corner, friends, of course, you will find the built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. At the top of the page, you can find a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.